And yeah, thank you. Okay, so welcome everyone to the overview of the Internet 2 Net Plus Google Workspace for Education 2023 offering session. I uh, appreciate you all uh, taking the time to connect with us today. And we're going to be diving into some really interesting topics. So I think just from an agenda standpoint, uh, what we'll be covering today is how the Internet 2 Net Plus program came about and the overview. Uh, next, I will be taking control and kind of diving through a uh, Google Workspace for Education overview. So very high level of just the different editions and what comes with them. Uh, we'll be following that with uh, a discussion around the 2023 Internet 2 Net Plus specific offering details. And then we'll move over to how you can actually procure these tools and take advantage of this offer. And then lastly, um, if anyone has any questions uh, and if time permits, we'll have a short Q&A session there as well. So I think then just kind of diving from here is I'll pass things over to Dana, who is from our Internet 2 organization. Uh, and she will be kind of covering a number of different things around Internet 2 and the Net Plus program overview. Um, so yeah, so Dana, feel free to introduce yourself and take it away. Thank you, Leighton. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Dana Voss, Program Manager at Internet 2, responsible for uh, Google Workspace for Education. Um, we started working with Google on, uh, at the time, uh, G Suite in uh, 2020, we had uh, nine universities help with the service evaluation process. And we spent a number of months going through our standard Net Plus um, evaluation. Um, and as part of that, we looked at features and functionality, um, security and compliance, um, ac accessibility, and a number of other aspects um, of um, the platform. Um, and then in 2021, we were joined by um, a number of other universities in total. 26 universities helped with um, uh, the negotiation process. We spent a lot of time working with Google on um, um the pricing structure but also a number of uh, terms and conditions which differentiate the net plus service offering from the uh, uh program that's available outside of the internet to net plus program next slide next slide please um so the could we go back one slide? Um, <clears throat> the Net Plus Google Workspace for Education program um, was, uh, the agreement was signed in mid 2021. And um, we have been working very closely since then with Google through a service advisory board. Um, we have a number of institutions represented on the advisory board and the role of the, bo of the board is to continue to work with Google on ongoing improvements to the Google Workspace for Education tools. Uh, we put particular focus on storage tools um, and also on program aspects in general. The original contract which was negotiated 2021 was revisited in 2022 and again for 2023 and the advisory board helped with those conversations. Um, in addition to that, we have the cloud storage working group. Over 60 institutions are a part of the cloud storage working group. Um, this is a community group which um, has, has been focusing primarily on Google Workspace for Education for the past two plus years now. And in the last um, several months, we actually uh, formed four sub working groups to focus on various aspects of the platform. We have a communications and web presence uh, working group, which is led by, by Matt Klein at uh, Cornell University. Uh, the provision of accounts, which is led by Chuck Bohem at Cornell City, um, 
data migration, uh, which is led by Helen Ziza at um, Harvard University and David Cavalieri at the uh, University of Colorado Boulder, and uh, quota management led by uh, Justin Zemliak at Indiana University. Um, and in fact, each one of the work groups is going to um, uh, have a presentation in um, April. It's part of our um, webinar series, and they'll be talking about some of the uh, best practices that uh, those um, work groups have been working on and the experience they had on their own campuses with um, uh, the various aspects um, of uh, managing storage and um, uh, quotas, communications. Um, so I'm hoping that you'll be able to join uh, those uh, presentations um, as well. Um, I will close by saying we have over 110 subscribers to Google Workspace for Education, and um, we are, um, you know, here to help. And uh, if you need anything, if you'd like to be a part of the Cloud Storage Working Group, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and with that, I will hand it over to Leighton. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Dana. Um, excellent. So I think uh, now we're going to begin kind of walking through the Google Workspace for Education overview pieces. And I know a couple of people are just coming in as well. Um, but in case you don't know who I am, uh, my name's Leighton Spencer. I am the East Regional uh, Specialist for Workspace for Education, specifically for higher education. Uh, in North America. So it's great to see you uh, again, if I know who you are. And then obviously, uh, if I don't know who you are, it's great to meet you. Um, but kind of going into the specifics of what we were going to touch on in this section really is um, kind of getting started and grounding ourselves in the challenges that education leaders and students have to face on a daily basis. And some of the, uh, I think, things that you all have to uh, potentially uh, face on a daily basis as well. So we believe no matter uh, you know uh, the, our backgrounds or everyone kind of deserves you know that great experience with uh, learning opportunities and then also what they have at their fingertips in order to control and kind of dole out for their for their universities and systems as well. Um, so I think that one of these like kind of big pieces is what is driving our I think constant evolution to better support the education community and better support you all with the tools and services that we offer to the education market and then making sure that you all kind of can make the most out of those as well. Um, so I think just from a high level, some of the biggest challenges that we're seeing today specifically are, uh, you know, there's been some major learning losses and learning gaps that have widened, you know, immensely over the last two years due to the pandemic. Uh, a lot of this was due to changing learning environments from in-person to hybrid and then back to classroom. And we've actually seen around 584 million students globally fall behind just some minimum proficiency levels. Um, to address this, a lot of countries are taking different approaches. So 80% of countries have created some form of like a learning recovery program. And a lot of that, uh, I guess, is included with ed tech tools and digital tools. I think in relation to that, the amount of tools uh, and apps that are available through uh, ed tech has grown considerably as well. So from 2017 to 2022, the average number of ed tech tools that an educational institution has access to in a given month has almost tripled. So I think with those kind of things in mind as well, simplicity is sometimes uh, the best solution. And that's where uh, Google really sees ourselves as being able to assist and help with that. And then I think the last piece that we have on here as well is cyber threats are increasing and educational institutions are a top target. So in 2021, there, uh, there was a 29% increase in cybersecurity attacks on educational institutions around the world. Um, data breaches are also costly, resulting in you know, an average total cost of 3.7 million uh, for education institutions across the education industry in 2021. So I think with all of that, you know, technology is one piece where it plays a factor and can help improve education. But then it also has, um, you know, it's not the sole thing that is going to make it accessible and usable for all users across the globe. So I think that that's one piece where 
We just like to keep those challenges in mind as we're developing tools that you all can use within your institutions. Then I think uh, one of the things that all of these challenges definitely help push us for, towards is building solutions that empower students and educators with those easy to use, secure digital teaching and learning tools, and then providing you all as well with long-term value and ROI within your educational institutions. And with that in mind, um, with all those tools being as easy, secure, and affordable, it makes a lot of sense that some of the biggest names in, in higher education are also choosing Google Workspace for education for their institutions. So on top of this, um, there's also uh, what 75% of university students prefer as their productivity suite as well. So by aligning with what students want to use uh, with a centrally managed uh, kind of system by your institution, this is also helping prevent situations of shadow IT in turn protecting students' data and university data as a whole. So today, what we're really going to be focusing on as well is uh, just kind of taking you through the journey of the different types of additions that we have uh, here at Google, and then which ones we're really going to be focused on, which is that one in, uh, I guess, the dark blue Education Plus. Um, so to meet our customers where they are in your specific journey, we offer a range of different uh, workspace for education additions. Uh, to provide you with more control and choice and then also flexible solutions to meet your organization's specific needs so you know if you choose education fundamentals at no cost that is our foundational ed tech tools uh, for your institution a and you then have the options to subscribe to any of the additional um, uh, workspace for education additions that we have on top of that education standard just from a high level is our primary security and analytical uh, kind of data uh, capabilities built within into those licenses. Um, it is a key piece for the security and the admin work that happens on the back end or behind the scenes where end users aren't necessarily aware of all the different threats and things that can face campus. Um, then we have the teaching and learning upgrade, and that's kind of the opposite of standard. That is more the end user tools. So that's meet enhancements, um, which provide you with video conferencing and uh, a number of different tools that can be built in there. That's our originality reports, which is a plagiarism detection tool that you can actually use across the board as well uh, from you know, your professor's standpoint, but then also from the student standpoint too, to help with that uh, teaching of academic integrity versus the punitive side of academic integrity. Um, and then lastly, we have Education Plus, uh, which has all the capabilities of obviously of fundamentals, standard, and teaching and learning all put together and a little bit more that comes along with that as well. And today, just a deeper dive is going to focus on Education Plus, our most comprehensive ed tech solution um, that includes the advanced security and analytics, includes those teaching and learning capabilities that I was just touching on, and then also has that integrated tools that work better together. So from a security standpoint, I think advanced tools to provide stronger security, more visibility, improved analytics, and greater control are all pieces that are built in natively into uh, Education Plus. And that's something where you know, a lot of Education Plus users will also kind of explain and, and, and tell you that that's probably in higher education, one of the key pieces uh, that comes along with Education Plus in addition to additional storage. Um, I think the second piece here as well is enriching that teaching and learning experience. So educators can actually uh, make a deeper impact with the tools uh, that we provide through Education Plus uh, to help connect and engage with students uh, both in and outside of the classroom. Obviously, there's some, some key pieces that are built into Google Assignments that make this a lot easier so it can actually attach to any LMS that you're potentially using uh, within your organization. Or if you are exploring potentially using Classroom, there are also some premium features that come along with that that can actually be used and kind of up-leveled within those instances as well. Um, but then I think one of the key pieces here, it is, uh, is uh, Education Plus is an all-in solution. So with a, a single comprehensive solution, you can save on cost because you're not having to pay for multiple other solutions. You can improve security because all of your tools are protected by the same secure uh, Google privacy and Google security first infrastructure. And you can save everyone time, uh, not only your educators and students, 
but also your IT teams that only have to manage one system versus having to manage uh, you know, a plethora of systems. Um, and then I think to wrap this all up, all of these tools are integrated together to make them as easy and simple to use as well. So that can kind of cut down on help desk tickets too. Um, and then as I briefly mentioned before as well, I think uh, cyber, uh, cyber threats targeting higher education institutions and, and K-12 institutions are at record high uh, amounts. Cyber attacks uh, can cause you know, major disruptions to learning uh, along with you know, huge financial costs as well on the back end. And I think a few things just to highlight here is ransomware uh, remains one of the biggest threats uh, to institutions and it can take you know, boatloads of money from you that you could actually use towards other things. And just less than 2% of, uh, of institutions that pay their cyber uh, ransom um, kind of requests receive only a portion of what their missing data is. So you're not always recovering all of the data that has been potentially stolen or taken from you. And I think that that's sometimes one of the biggest pieces on why that security first uh, kind of process is one that you all should be considering and, and kind of taking into account there too. I think with security being one of those biggest challenges facing the education community and the repercussions of a, of a breach having long lasting impact, that's where we find it here at Google critical that we're providing you all with the mo most robust security tools that we have available um, within our Education Plus edition as well. So with Education Plus, your organization will have access um, to proactive uh, tools that help you establish a more secure environment well before any security incidents can occur, uh, detect issues if they do arise, and then most importantly, remediate those threats um, you know, live then and there so that the impact for your users or your university or college are minimized. You also have access to more visibility and insights that are tied directly to and provide you with a unique set of controls to manage the domain security settings too. And then here are some of those unique, uh, I guess, security tools that come with Education Plus. Uh, you can give IT admins advanced uh, security tools that give them more insights, visibility, and control to protect your institution. Some of those are uh, like the security dashboard, where you can see what's happening within your domain with instant pre-built reports on file exposure, authentication, and then just general settings as well as uh, any pre or uh, post-built uh, dashboards that you potentially want to provide to your institutions that might be unique to your situation. Um, Context-aware access, that can create access control policies based on attributes such as user identity, location, device, security status, and IP address, really just kind of a, allowing you to lock down certain types of information in certain places that's only accessible if a user meets that specific context. Um, the alert center, uh, so you can actually get real-time security alerts and insights to help you protect your institution from phishing, malware, or other threats. The investigation tool, which allow you to identify triage and take action on security and privacy issues with the investigation tool, and, and then also being able to utilize a little bit of ML and artificial intelligence to actually uh, set up activity rules as well. So if there are situations that match an investigation that you've run previously, you can actually set that up to run on its own moving forward as well. And then the security sandbox, um, which actually allow you to automatically scan email attachments to identify potential malware, uh, you know, links or attachments as well. I think in addition to security, um, some of the other challenges are obviously facing those learning uh, gaps that have been widening. And ed tech options uh, grow and kind of focus on preparing students uh, for, the work, work, for the workforce demands as those kind of expand as well. So Google Workspace for Education addresses these issues head on by providing ed tech that helps provide individual support for each student, helps educators simplify and minimize uh, their workload, and does not add to it, uh, seamlessly works together all within a single sign-on, and then also helps reduce the amount of disparate uh, tools that students and educators are using. 
So tools that are being provided here are comprehensive, engaging, and flexible. And that's one of the key things that we've heard from the education community that are used that are needed now more than ever. And then I think um, some of these other pieces here are the pieces that come with Education Plus that are around that instructional impact. So as I was touching on before, um, you know, originality reports is our version of plagiarism detection that allows you all to, or you know, professors to scan work across billions of different websites, as well as institution-owned repositories of past students' work as well. So this is a great way to just see, you know, what has potentially been turned in before, and then how you can actually uh, test against that. A new product here that we have as well that's also included in Education Plus is Practice Sets. Um, this allows you to transform new and existing teaching content into interactive assignments and then give uh, students kind of built-in hints within those assignments. And then uh, I think the last piece here is the enhanced Google Meet capabilities as well. So engaging with students in breakout rooms, attendance tracking, Q&As, polls, recordings, live translated captions, um, live streaming opportunities and automatic transcriptions are all available within Education Plus and really creates Meet as a powerful place to meet virtually with anyone you need to. Um, so your digital learning uh, environment uh, works better for you when all of these tools are centralized and managed through one admin console. So with Google Workspace for Education Plus, you have a digital learning environment with all of your apps and features in one place which helps you know, not only simplify your tech stack, but also allows you to make it easier to find and use what you need uh, while increasing your institution's security posture. So in addition to Education Plus eliminating uh, the need to invest, administer, and support other edtech tools, um, it can also ultimately help your institution save both time and money. And I think this is just a nice visual that we like to have kind of showing this. So like consolidating your, your tech stack can reduce costs, improve security, and then save educators time. Uh, Google Workspace is fully integrated into our ed tech solutions that offer tools um, for common teaching and learning, and then also security needs. And these are kind of the, the breakouts that we know are kind of across the board for all education institutions. And then with that, uh, this is where Google kind of aligns to all of that with our specific tools. So our tools have become more powerful when they work together. Um, having a comp comprehensive solution helps you reduce those costs, as I said earlier. So you're gaining significant cost savings by reti retiring redundant software, consolidating security management in the cloud, and then accessing your collaboration tools all in one platform. You're also improving security. So your institution is only as safe as its weakest vendor. So with Google Workspace for Education, all of your tools are protected with Google grade privacy and security standards. And then lastly, you're saving educators time and then your time as uh, potentially central IT, uh, where all of the tools have the same um, kind of look and feel, uh, reducing the need to learn how to navigate tools with different designs. They all have uh, and are behind single sign on so reducing the need to set up unique accounts for each tool. And the tight integration between Google Workspace for Education products uh, seamlessly works so you're never having to um, kind of retool or retrain end users. In addition to this, uh, it is a comprehensive solution that saves central IT management hours as well. So next, I'm going to be diving into um, the 2023 um, specifics of the internet to offer and uh, that's where we're going to just showcase what the costs are for plus uh, for this year's offer and then what some of the additional tools as well or, or services as well that we know uh, higher education is interested in so in these next couple slides i'll just be detailing all of those uh, features and functionalities um but yeah so here with the internet to net plus 2023 offer you can save a significant amount on uh, the list MSRP for Education Plus licenses. Um, as the comprehensive solution um, and addition, it has the best ROI over any of the other additions, especially with 
uh, Internet to Net Plus uh, negotiated offers. Um, but if you did want to move forward and you were currently on Education Fundamentals, um, and you know Education Plus may not, might not be the correct solution for you, we do also offer Education Standard and Teaching and Learning uh, upgrade licenses as well. Those licenses are not as comprehensive in nature um, and do not have the additional discounting that uh, Education Plus has with Internet 2. But still, you know, if there's specific um, additional premium features that you need and not necessarily the comprehensive solution, those are also um, additions that you can take advantage of. Um, but here on this side, we see a breakdown of the Internet 2 exclusive offer. Um, so this is available to I2 uh, members until December 1st of this year. And from what you can see above, uh, year one uh, commitments or one year commitments offer, uh, will receive kind of an automatic discount of 5%. For two year commitments, you'll receive an automatic discount of 10%. And then for three year commitments, uh, you'll receive a generous 20% discount off MSRP. So that was what you saw in the previous slide where it's $4 per uh, per student per year um, for Education Plus licenses. In addition to education licensing uh, discounts, uh, those who purchase Education Plus for their domains will also receive additional discounts on Workspace Additional Storage. So Workspace, is, workspace Additional Storage is sold in 10 terabyte packs on yearly contracts for $3,600 per year. Plus customers that purchase outside of Internet 2 um, will receive a 50% discount on those uh, packs, while those who purchase um, through Internet 2 Net Plus program will receive an, a 60% discount on those 10 terabyte packs. So an additional 10% um, by purchasing through Internet 2. So these are just um, you know, some of the wonderful benefits for Internet 2 members in terms of pricing and the things that all of you all on this call can take advantage of today. Um, then next up, we're going to run through the procurement process. And if you would like to actually trial any of these types of licenses as well before you buy. So I think a couple of things here is you can always try before you buy and get an understanding of what is going to work best for your institution. So all three uh, paid editions that we offer, so that's Education Plus, Education Standard, and Education Teaching and Learning. Uh, upgrade are available for trials. Uh, trials generally include 50 licenses for a 60 day period. And then if additional time is needed, uh, Google support can actually help extend that for a one time extension of 30 days. Customers can also initiate a teaching and learning upgrade trial directly through their admin console as well. So not necessarily having to engage with either Google or with a uh, partner or reseller. But I will say that trials for Education Standard and Education Plus are only going to be available through uh, a Google Workspace for Education partner. And I think the last piece here as well is if you are looking to trial either Standard or Plus, both the authorized Internet to Net Plus partners, CDW Amplified and Burwood Group, are available to assist you further uh, in that, in addition to your Google Workspace for Education team here as well. And I think the next two uh, slides, I'm going to actually just dive into an overview of both those authorized partners. Um, so the first one that we have here is uh, CDW Amplified. Uh, they're an authorized Internet 2 Net Plus partner for the Google Workspace for Education offering. And they are also a Google for Education Premier partner. Um, they're able to support your needs uh, with Workspace, uh, Google Cloud, and then even Google Voice. And they have uh, a sp specialized in technical services, onboardings, trainings, and certifications as well. Um, they've actually partnered with us in the past before to create free tools like Gopher for Drive. I'm not sure if any of you all have used that, um, which you know surfaced a lot of helpful information before Google had fully launched our storage tools. And I think lastly, they are also a redemption partner for Google service offerings. Uh, so for those who are unaware of what Google service offerings are, is uh, Google often um, also gives free tokens for those who are just making a move over to paid editions. 
um, to use on services to ensure that they're set up for success. So with this, uh, um, CDW AMP5 is a uh, kind of recipient partner to where you can actually utilize those uh, service offering uh, funds with them in order to, you know, redeem uh, services uh, from technical support to uh, fulfilling project hours to additional trainings or certifications that you or your staff potentially want to take. Um, and uh, here at the bottom, we have their email address that you all can reach out to as well directly if you do have any additional questions or want to receive quotes uh, from CDW uh, Amplified. And then the second partner that we have, or the other partner uh, that is also an authorized partner for the Internet2 Net Plus program is Burwood Group. So just like uh, CDW Amplified, they offer a number of services that include onboarding as well as training workshops. And they also provide you with a customer success manager to help add any additional layer of support for your institution, institution as well. Um, with the significant amount of expertise with Google Workspace and Google Cloud, they're a wonderful partner to take advantage of the Internet2 Net Plus program. So then I think as next steps, what we have here is you can always connect uh, with either uh, CDW Amplify or Burwood Group to explore you know, those 60-day free trials with 50 licenses of Workspace for Education Plus or Workspace Standard or Teaching and Learning, as well as receiving those quotes uh, to understand exactly what the licensing costs and pricing will be for your specific situation. And then also learning more about the program or about what each of these partners have to offer uh, to your institution or university. So that's primarily all we had for today. Um, I know that there were some questions that came through, uh, but we do want to thank you for kind of taking the time today and signing up for uh, some of the future sessions that we have coming up as well. I believe tomorrow we have our licensing deployment uh, session, which you know will be insightful as well as uh, myself and then some of my technical counterparts will run through a couple of the different options that you all have. And then moving forward, I'm sure that there's going to be a couple very important and uh, you know in informational sessions covering storage, uh, licensing, deprovisioning, and, and reprovisioning, and then also uh, quota management and many others. So be sure just to be on the lookout for those alerts as they come through as well. But we will move over now um, to the question and answer uh, section. But yes, I do appreciate you all for attending um, today's session, and, and we can dive into these. Okay. Um, yes, uh, I think let me um, go here. And, and then Ariel, we can actually stop the recording now as well. And